Today we're going over some frequently asked questions about the Warlock kit. Post any more questions you may have in the comments and we'll follow up with maybe another video or answer it down there. But one of the big questions that we get is why do you have to change the lower intake manifold with the Warlock kit? And, and it's actually because of the design of the 11 to 14 turbo. So 11 to 14 was a dual inlet turbo. So this is an inlet and this is an inlet. So the intake also was a dual inlet. You can see how they match up here. And that works great for the stock turbo or the 11 to 14 turbo. But when you switch to a 15 or 17 style and newer turbo, or maybe one of our KC Whistler turbos, it's not dual inlet anymore. It has a single inlet. So you don't need the dual inlet. There's also a downside to this dual inlet intake. The inlet or the outlet for the turbo is actually smaller on the 11 to 14 than it is for the 15 and newer. And that's because they had two small inlets versus one larger inlet. And if you look into the flow path of the 11 to 14, it's kind of broken up. It's not like a clear straight through shot and it does create a little bit of turbulence. If you come look in here in the end of it, you can kind of see that the 11 to 14 inlet, the upper one's a pretty clean flow path, but the lower one, you know, has this bend in it. It's smaller. But when you look at the 17 and newer, it's a much larger, much cleaner flow path all the way through the turbo. So that just reduces a little bit of turbulence. So when you upgrade to the newer style lower intake manifold, you get better airflow to the turbo and it lifts the turbo up just slightly. These pedestals on the 11 to 14 are non-serviceable. And when it sits down that low to use this intake, you can't use a 17 style pedestal, which is what we like. The 17 style pedestal is readily available. If you ever have any issues, you can go to any Ford dealer and replace it. The pedestal gaskets are not anything custom. You can just use regular Ford genuine OEM parts when you're changing out the turbo, when you go to the Warlock kit. That's one of the reasons we use the 17 pedestal and the 17 style lower intake manifold. With the 17 and newer style lower intake manifold, you still retain all of your EGR and CCV components. They bolt up just like stock. Now, if you're looking for even more flow over these, you can run a piping kit all the way to the turbo. We do offer it without a piping kit. It is a little bit cheaper. If you already have a piping kit or you want to order one, you can just order without the lower intake manifold, and then you can run your piping kit right to the turbo, which flows even more air to the turbo. So it's all about airflow getting to the turbo is why we use the 17 lower intake manifold. For example, if you're using a no limit style intake, just got pulled off a truck, it's pretty dirty. You know, you, ha you have this connected up here and you don't want it necking all the way down to under three inches. You want as much flow as possible getting to the turbo. So that's why, I mean, there's no reason to have a five inch intake and neck it down to two and a half down here. You need as much flow as possible through the intake manifold to get to your turbo. So with a 17 style factory turbo up here, you can see the drastic difference on the inlet size of the 2011 versus the 2017 turbo. They made the inlet on the 17 style lower intake manifold to match. So it's a very clear flow path. It flows more air and Ford did that because of the larger horsepower it was gonna make in 2015, 16 and 17. When installing a Warlock kit on your truck or even a Ford retrofit kit, it no longer uses the wastegate because the older, smaller turbos had a wastegate and Ford got rid of the wastegate in 2015 with a larger style turbo. So you can just block off that hose or you can remove the wastegate sole. One of the other big pluses of the Warlock kit and or the Ford retrofit kit is you get rid of these leaky, problematic oil lines and water lines and it's all integrated into the pedestal on the 17 and newer style turbos. So we've got a couple of different options with the Warlock kit. You can put on the standard F250, F350 turbo, which is still a big upgrade over the 11 to 14. You can see up to 100 to 150 horsepower gain just from swapping to the 11 to 14 to the 17 style newer turbos. And we do offer them in multiple options. You can get the F250, F350, the KC Whistler Stage 1, and the KC Whistler Stage 2. The great thing about both of these turbos is they both run the 17 style factory pedestal. So as we were saying before, you've got the 17 style factory lower intake manifold. You also have the 17 style pedestal, which means all the gaskets are OEM. If you ever have a problem, you're broken down and you're having any issues with the gaskets, the pedestal, the turbos, you know you can go to Ford and get a new pedestal, new lower intake manifold, or any of the gaskets to get you back up and going. We often get asked, what happens if I break down? Let's say, heaven forbid, your air filter wasn't on right, you suck in a rock, it blows up the turbo. And now you're stranded in the middle of nowhere on a Friday afternoon with your family and you need to get your truck up and going. One of the great things about even the KC Stage 1, Stage 2, or the F250 turbo, you can go right down to the Ford dealership, buy a new Ford turbo, or from any outlets that sell Ford turbos for the 17 newer, and bolt them right onto your truck. All you need to do is swap just the turbine housing 
onto the new unit and it'll bolt right into the Warlock kit. So with the Warlock kit, you've got a couple of options. You've got the F-250 turbo, you can get the KC Whistler Stage 1 and the Stage 2. It just comes down to power. So as you go bigger in turbos, you make more power, but it does make it harder to tow or a little worse spool up down low, really low in the RPMs. When you're going from an 11 turbo to a 17 turbo, there's a big jump in horsepower, but there is also a big jump in spool up, probably five to 600 RPMs. So where the 11 to 14 turbo might do fine at let's say 12 or 1300 RPMs, the 15 and newer or the 17 and newer style turbos is not gonna like that. They're gonna wanna be up more around 15, 16, 1700 RPMs. Then when you go up to the KC stage one, it's even a little bigger. Now you're not gonna wanna be hanging out around 15, 1600, you're gonna be more around 17 to 1800. And then you have the stage two, it goes up another 100 RPMs. So realize that when you go bigger in turbo, it changes where the RPMs are at. Now Ford recalibrated all that in the 15 and newer trucks so they don't end up at 1100 to 1300 RPMs. But if you have an 11 to 14 truck and you put a newer, bigger turbo on there, the transmission strategy might still be set to shift at lower RPMs. We recommend getting those strategies updated so you can bump up your shift points to be in the happy sweet spot of the larger turbo. So let's wrap up everything in 60 seconds. Lower intake manifold is included for two reasons. One, you can retain all your EGR and CCV functions and it's got a larger inlet than the factory 11 to 14 lower intake manifold, which flows more air to your turbo. When you get the Warlock kit, you got a couple of different options, but luckily for you, 17 style lower intake manifold, 17 style pedestal, which means all the gaskets and factory components work if you're ever in a bind and need parts right away. There's a couple of different sizes. Make sure you're picking the right size for your application. The 17 turbo is much larger than the 11 to 14. And then when you go to the stage one or the stage two Whistler, they go larger in size even more. If you have any questions about this, make sure to contact us in the comments, send us an email, call us, whatever we can do to help you get your truck up and going.